What's up, everybody? Brad again. Um, I just wanted to show you on this new Sigma 7200 F2.8 Sport. Um, I wanted to. I talked to you a little bit on the last video about the different custom modes that it had on the lens. So on the side of the lens, there's a, a switch that allows for off custom one and custom two. Um, I've only ever had the primes in the art series and they haven't had uh, or haven't offered that customization. So I was a little curious, um, dug a little bit into it yesterday and played with it. Uh, and, and I really like what it actually offers. So I just wanted to show you guys in case uh, you're not familiar with Sigma's uh, software here that allows you to actually go in and tweak little things in each and every lens. So um, first things first, you will need the Sigma USB dock. It goes on the back of a lens, just like a, um, lens cap, just like the rear cap. So it just goes on, connect, and then you can see here the software will automatically find the lens. It is checking to see if the firmware of the device is uh, up to date. Uh, it is, that's for the um, adapter, not the lens itself. So then we'll click on uh, firmware update. We'll see if there's any updates for the lens since it's new you never know give this just a second current firmware okay cool so then you get into here to customization and that's where the fun is so um, the first thing you've got is your focus setting and what that allows you to do is um, like on my 85 I had it's only one focal length obviously but you can go through there and set and micro adjust your focus at it uh, any distance throughout the focus range, so from closest focus distance to infinity, uh, and you set it for different distances. So, you know, four feet roughly, five and a half feet, uh, nine feet, and in infinity. So it actually allows you to go in there and micro focus the lens at all of those distances. So no matter where you're at, um, from close focusing to infinity, you can make sure you've got tack sharp photos. Uh, my 85 was actually pretty far back focused um, straight out of the box. So I was allowed to go in there and micro adjust that back up so that um, wherever I'm shooting, it's it's going to be sharp. Um, on the zooms, though, this actually gives you four different focal lengths that you can set it. So you've got all the way from 70 to 200 and from closest focus distance to infinity and you've got this entire grid where you can micro adjust the lens, which is super cool. I know most of the cameras have micro adjustments on the lens and it, you know, it, it kind of sets it universally across the entire lens. So you may not need a micro adjust at the closest focus distance, but you might need a, a ton of micro adjust at eight feet. So um, this just allows you to do that and it's pretty cool, but this is nothing new for, uh, for Sigma users. So this is, this is common. Um, same thing with the full-time manual focus settings. I'm not going to get into all that. Um, but I am going to get to the customization mode settings. That's going to be that specific switch on the lens. So like I said, the lens has, it's got off, it's got C1 and C2. We're just going to look at C1. Um, and the options are the same regardless. It just allows you to have two different setups so you can flip back and forth. Um, so the first one is AF speed setting. You've got, and they all come, um, all three of these by default uh, come on standard. So, um, but on, on AF speed settings, you can put it on fast AF priority, standard or smooth AF priority. And essentially what that is, is how the autofocus locks on. So um, if you're a video shooter, you don't want that jerky fast uh, autofocus. You want it to kind of smoothly roll between you're, you know, if you're focusing far out and you focus close uh, to you, you don't want it to just sort of jerk. You want that nice smooth motion. Um, and this allows you to set it. Now, I will probably never use this lens for video or at least, you know, not anything serious anyway. Um, so obviously I want it to be as fast as possible. So I actually went in there, I put it on fast AF priority and I did notice a difference. Um, it did seem to lock on much more quickly. Um, I mean, it's fast straight out of the box by default, but it's it's even more fast now when you when you move it up this way. Um, so I would probably always keep it keep it here on AF priority. 
Um, but it's really, really cool that they actually give you the option. So if I, if I did want to shoot some video sometimes, I could set up my C2 mode to be smooth AF priority, flip back over to that whenever I need it, and then have that nice, you know, kind of buttery, uh, smooth focus action there. Um, we will then look at focus limiter settings, which is another really cool um, mode here. And what this allows you to do is to set the focus limiter. So say you're a sports shooter and you're shooting football and you're on the sideline. Uh, nothing you're shooting is going to be closer than 10 feet from you just based on how far out all the action happens. You can actually set the focus limiter to just go from 10 feet to infinity and back and forth. That way it's not hunting down the entire range um, of the of the focal distance. So that's pretty cool. It allows it, if it does miss focus for a second, it's not going to hunt all the way back to close focus and then back just to reacquire. So um, it allows you to, to kind of pinpoint that little small range that it will look for focus. Um, so if you're a sports shooter or, you know, another, another way is like birds in flight, because um, they, they tend to get lost in the sky sometimes and things like that, and then the lens starts to hunt. Um, this will allow your lens to only search at the distance you require. So I do think that's actually really, really cool. Um, so I'm just going to leave that how it is, though. And the last one is the OS setting or the stabilizer. I'm not real sure what the difference in the two is. I just know that I did not like moderate view mode. Um, standard by default again, but dynamic view modes seem to almost lock the image in the uh, viewfinder. So it just felt like when I when I press the autofocus that the the image like literally just stops in the viewfinder. Um, I mean, I was I was kind of wobbling my lens back and forth intentionally, and and the image was just staying right there in the middle. So it's cool. Um, when I switched it to moderate view mode and tried it that way, I felt like the the image just sort of, it, it never really came to a stop. Um, it definitely felt more stabilized, but it didn't, I don't know, it didn't feel like it was as crisp. Um, so I need to do a little more research and find out what the moderate view mode is for. And that might be another video type thing to where, um, because it does in dynamic view mode, it's almost, it's almost jerky. Like it will, it'll almost like pause the screen and then it's like once your lens sort of moves off center by, by just enough, it almost like it relocates to the next frozen, you know, section. Um, and, and a video shooter wouldn't want that obviously. So um, moderate view mode may be more for video shooting again and it to where it will sort of always keep um, a little bit of a fluid motion. So I'll look a little more into that and see what comes up. But anyway, I just wanted to show anybody that may be new to Sigma or um, specifically looking for what the customization is on the 7200 that just came out. Um, just wanted to throw this out there real quick so that you guys have an idea. Um, I will say I've got another video coming hopefully tomorrow. Um, I put it side by side with the new Canon Mark III. I didn't get to get as nearly as many uh, image comparisons and things like that um, as I was hoping just because it was a little bit late when I got my hands on it. So um, I'll do a more in-depth review between the two, but I'll, I'll definitely give my thoughts um, and how I think this lens compares to the more expensive Canon lens. So um, keep an eye out for that. I'll have some image uh, test images with the stabilizer um, in that same video. Um, look at the focus breathing, uh, a couple other things. So uh, that should be coming in the next day or so. So hang out and take a look at those. Uh, like the video if it helped you out. Subscribe if that's your thing. And we'll see you next time.